Android software testing. Uh, we will just uh, really quick do the first session uh, like uh, uh, what we started with. Uh, we going to make software right uh, So we uh, we said that the uh, prerequisites uh, required for Android systems uh, testing uh, in terms of uh, the basics of Android systems. Uh, such as uh, next controller knowledge, C, uh, integrated development environment, debugging, and uh, interfacing the devices, uh, etc. Also, we had looked into the marketing drivers uh, for the embedded software testing. Mm, so, one of the key marketing drivers are uh, embedded software needs to be reliable and predictable. And uh, testing accounts for uh, more than half the uh, work or the cost of the development of the image software. Uh, and uh, the best way to understand a complex image system is to test it. Uh, these are some of the key drivers uh, on the map. So also, we had uh, uh, looked into course objectives, uh, which is the uh, image software testing and utilization, uh, dynamic and storage uh, testing. Uh, Test defect, uh, test management, and the test process. And uh, job proficiency, foundation on embedded software testing perspective of uh, uh, tester for the embedded software product, BMD, test case design, verification strategy, effective test management, and the test process. Learning outcomes uh, as per uh, Concepts of uh, embedded software testing, uh, test life cycle, V model, uh, different types or methods of testing, uh, static analysis and uh, matrix, top down approach, bottom up approach for integration, test management, defect management, and configuration. These are the learning outcomes. Uh, then we had an uh, introduction. Uh, on different sessions, how we are going to organize this uh, series of lectures. Uh, 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 we will start a continuation of the first uh, lecture session, which we have started in last time. Uh, that is the uh, session one and introduces uh, embedded systems for basics, fundamentals about testing, software testing, and uh, uh, different methods. The resources, uh, what we said, is uh, embedded system. Uh, for Android software uh, basics and programming, uh, the first three are good. The next three are uh, on the software testing, which can be referred and which are used in terms of development of this course. Okay, so we will uh, continue the session on what we had begun last time. Uh, And where is software testing? What is testing? Uh, it is a IEEE definition uh, which I had given here. Uh, this is uh, applicable for any of the testing, uh, especially the software testing. Doesn't matter embedded or non embedded. Uh, of course, embedded uh, emphasizes uh, this phrase. Testing is the process of exercising or evaluating a system or System component by manual or automated means to verify that it satisfies the specified requirements. So, what it means is uh, uh, testing is a process, it has many things. So, those things are all coming into the process. So, what does the process does is it exercises or evaluates a certain system or a system component or a subsystem by uh, different means, uh, those means could be automated means or manual means, uh, uh, which will verify uh, to make sure that it satisfies the uh, given set of requirements. Uh, manual and automated tests uh, we will uh, explain later stages uh, when we take up the different uh, test methods. So, this is the IEEE definition of uh, testing. There are uh, other definitions uh, as well in the website uh, which have been uh, referred for the testing. 
Profit testing is an integral part of the software development life cycle. Uh, here, software development life cycle includes uh, uh, development as well as testing. This has uh, planning, uh, design, uh, implementation, testing, reporting. So, that is what software development life cycle means. So, the integral part. Testing is a process of uh, executing a program with the intent of finding error. A good test case is one that has a high probability of finding an error. A successful, sorry, a successful test case is one that detects an as it undiscovered error. So, a test case aim is to detect any undiscovered error for that particular functionality or the environment. These are some of the definitions of this testing. Okay, role of testing. Here, uh, testing has uh, two primary aspects. One is uh, verification, other is validation. Typically, it is called in the industry as VM. So verification is uh, are we doing things correctly? Validation is uh, are we doing the correct thing? So, uh, that is the basic uh, uh, understanding of VM. Verification means are we doing things right? Validation means are we doing the right things? Uh, then, secondary uh, roles of uh, testing uh, are determine whether the system meets the specification. Uh, that means uh, whether uh, uh, the intended behavior of the system uh, is being uh, implied within the embed system. That means uh, the embed system makes the specification. What it is intended to do, then uh, impart the competence of the system under test. Uh, bring in uh, the competence of the system, whether uh, it is uh, uh, working uh, as per the expectation, it can be deployed onto the uh, market or to the user, or it can be fed to the field, or, or it can be delivered or released. So, uh, the testing uh, brings up the compliance uh, of the system under that. Uh, it also provides uh, insight into the software development process. Uh, by doing the testing, uh, we will uh, unleash the some of the embedded software uh, parts uh, in terms of how it is being uh, developed. I mean, uh, the various uh, analysis of the test failures or the test paths will uncover some of the uh, issues or uh, problems uh, that would have come across uh, during the software development process. Uh, the software development process could be the planning, event, implementation, uh, reviews, etc. Okay, so why we need to test it? Uh, there is a question if uh, a proper uh, planning uh, design uh, implementation is done for a embedded system uh, why the question of testing of course uh, testing is uh, mandatory in terms of uh, industrial uh, uh, practice uh, why because uh, uh, there are the chances that uh, developers could do oversight of the uh, implementation or design or requirement so this testing will uncover that Certain bugs uh, are easier to find uh, in testing, which we need not be uh, found during uh, implementation, or implementation may not be enough to find out the bugs. So, those things will be found out during testing. And uh, of course, uh, post release debugging is uh, We cannot uh, deliver the product uh, after the implementation uh, right away. It needs to be definitely tested. Uh, we cannot afford to have a debugging, it will be very expensive without testing. But in development tools such as compiler, library, or any of the uh, implementation or coding uh, phase that we use uh, could have some issues or bugs. So that needs to be uh, tested. Uh, that will come out as an uh, issue or bug. Uh, while doing the testing, and uh, best way to understand and uh, present the product to the uh, market or report 
it will test it and report that the path. So obviously uh, the customer or uh, the quality team or the, the organization will be uh, very much enthusiastic uh, in terms of reporting a product as a defect free or path. So uh, the best way to do it uh, do a test and report it. And uh, we cannot afford uh, to have customers reporting uh, uh, problems or defects of the product. So avoid the customers detecting the defects. The testing is challenging and rewarding. Uh, it is uh, equally as good as uh, implementation. Uh, I would suggest uh, a typical uh, uh, industry and kind of to start the testing so that uh, a good tester uh, can be effective developer as well. Uh, effective implementer as well. So testing is really challenging and provided. So that is why we need that testing. Uh, these are some of the metrics uh, that is uh, used in the industry uh, in terms of uh, what is the cost uh, uh, of a embedded software defect. Uh, in this chart you can see uh, the cost uh, in terms of percentage and the uh, uh, vertical axis in the horizontal uh, axis uh, I have put uh, the different phases of uh, uh, software product. Uh, like we have requirements, we have design, coding, testing and prioritization. Prioritization could be maintenance as well. So across these phases uh, if we found uh, defects, so what is the cost? If you find a problem during the requirement before uh, we actually realize the product cost will be less accordingly a design will have a lesser and lesser cost compared to coding uh, similarly testing and product reaction. So as the, uh, the process uh, goes by the cost of the defect will be higher. Uh, some of the key process elements uh, for embedded software testing uh, in this slide I have put uh, the Three main elements uh, that are required uh, in order to do a software testing. Uh, basically, this is uh, this will all fall into a process. So we need to have uh, a planning document. The planning document uh, is a very vital input. So the the documents are a development, verification, and contribution plan. So this will talk about uh, what is the uh, Going to be my verification plan. What is going to be my configuration plan? So, what is the development uh, environment I'm going to use? So, all this will be uh, laid out in the planning phase. Uh, so, this is one of the very important uh, input for the uh, testing, especially the embedded software testing that is being uh, followed in the industry. Uh, next is the technical inputs. Uh, System uh, requirement document, software requirement specification, software design document, code, test case and test procedure, and of course the results. Uh, why I had put results is uh, testing uh, incomplete uh, uh, means which has everything right from the uh, input documents that is being provided for tester and the way how he is going to report as a uh, report using the results. So these are some of the technical input to say that uh, the product is software tested. The next thing is uh, guidelines and standards. These are of course uh, the different uh, uh, inputs that are uh, needed uh, for embedded software testing. They are uh, software testing standards and guidelines. Uh, uh, what sort of a testing standards I need to have. Uh, for example, if you take up uh, automotive, uh, you have ISO standards that is being followed. For uh, aerospace, they follow D1070 or 2167 uh, for example. That has uh, its own uh, inline uh, process uh, and standard for software testing. That needs to be uh, followed. Uh, also, review guidelines uh, are uh, being uh, used. Uh, this will help in uh, how a product or uh, the different uh, phases of uh, software testing 
I will be reviewable. So this is also one of the important uh, elements of the MS software system. Uh, it will be used across uh, process of the software system. Uh, we will uh, touch upon uh, how the test process uh, uh, they are uh, test planning, uh, uh, test specification, test execution, test coverage, and reporting. So uh, this is the basic definition of the uh, I mean uh, the process that is to be defined for. Uh, these are the test various tests that will be uh, used. So uh, we need to define a testing process for the uh, four elements, the basic elements, uh, test planning, like I just said. Uh, test uh, whatever the test we are going to conduct on the embedded software needs to be planned. So the test planning will have uh, what sort of a test case uh, uh, I am going to develop, how test cases will be designed, how the coverage is going to be uh, reported, and uh, what will be my test environment. Uh, this uh, what is the tool, what are the costs of the tool, uh, etc. This will be part of the test planning. Uh, Next will be the test specification. Uh, test specification uh, will have uh, different documents altogether: test cases, test procedure, and test environment. So this will be part of the test specification. Uh, the next process will be the test execution. So, so what are the methods that is going to be used uh, uh, in terms of test execution? Uh, it could be manual or it could be automated. This purely from the test perspective. Uh, test execution perspective, uh, like how I am going to execute it. We will detail out uh, during the next session of all these uh, process. Final uh, process uh, definition is the uh, coverage and reporting. Uh, like so once we are done with the test execution, so we need to develop a matrix uh, in terms of coverage, uh, like how much of the requirements or the functionality uh, have been passed, how many have been failed. And uh, if there are failures that can be justified at uh, the system level, uh, those needs to be reported. So the reporting needs to be evidenced with the test logs and uh, exhibition outputs. So this will be some of the test process that uh, Coming to test methods, uh, the complete uh, embedded software testing uh, fall into. Uh, different levels, different test methods. So they are acceptance testing, that is the user level. Uh, this is uh, required for uh, uh, delivering the product. Uh, I mean, for a user, uh, he will look from uh, this perspective, the requirement basically, whether all the requirements have been uh, implemented into the embedded software or not. So that level uh, testing will be done at the user uh, acceptance testing. Is also called as UAT, user acceptance testing or acceptance testing. The next one is the system testing. Uh, this covers up uh, all the functional as well as the non functional aspects of the embedded software. Here, uh, functional and non functional means functional means uh, what are the functionalities uh, that that particular product needs to uh, exercise, or uh, all the functionalities of that. Non functional uh, aspects are uh, something like uh, uh, how much memory it is using, how much uh, uh, performance, uh, what is the speed, uh, some of the background uh, uh, information that is being used is all uh, fall under uh, non functional type. So, this is done at the system level, system level as a black box, mostly at a black box. I will explain uh, at a later stage what is black box, what is white box, etc. So I suggest uh, not to get uh, bothered at this moment because uh, this uh, session uh, is uh, only the introductory uh, session. Uh, it is just uh, defining uh, some of the uh, key elements of the embedded software. Okay. So the next one is uh, integration testing. So as I said, I think I have explained. Uh, I mean, I read the in my previous lecture about this. Uh, integration could be uh, integration of different software modules uh, within themselves or 
integration of the software module onto the target that is hardware. And there are uh, uh, various approaches, but we, we will study on uh, two approaches that is generally called top down as well as uh, bottom up uh, integration. The last one is uh, compound testing uh, or unit testing. Uh, this is uh, being exercised at a low level. That means uh, when you take up a embedded software uh, as a product, there are uh, different uh, unit level functionalities that needs to be uh, implemented. Those units uh, will be under focus uh, during this testing. That is the component. The component could be a set of one function or two functions or three functions. So all the function or all the units we call it as unit uh, all the units will be uh, tested at this level that is called content test. So these are the four uh, basic levels of uh, test methods uh, that are being uh, used uh, in the software testing. And uh, during next uh, sessions uh, we will uh, detail out about acceptance system testing integration component testing.